everyone welcome to the next session on matlab in this session we are going to deal with operations on matrices we will start with the first operation that is addition as we are already aware of mathematics that for addition of two matrices the order of the two matrix should be equal suppose i will choose a matrix to be a 2 by 2 matrix then b should also be a 2 by 2 matrix you can see both these matrices have the same order they have two rows and two columns each so i will now write c is equal to a plus b this is how you add two matrices now suppose if you want to subtract you will write d is equal to a minus b or it could be b minus a that's your choice so i will take e is b minus a so here you can see this is how you add and subtract two matrices you have already learned this rule in mathematics we are trying to figure it out in matlab so this is addition and subtraction next we will talk about multiplication and division before that quickly let's talk about transpose of a matrix that is something which is very easy this is a 1 by 4 matrix if i have to find its transpose i can say b is equal to c transpose a c transpose is the command used in matrix operation for array operation it was just transpose here it is c transpose so that's done uh, now let's take up one more example c is equal to 1 this is a matrix let's take the transpose of it i'll give a separate way of transpose that is c dash you can see here this is the other way of giving transpose so these are two techniques for calculating transpose of a matrix in matlab that too when you are doing matrix operation let's take up now multiplication and division this is going to be little different as compared to array operations that was quite simple we are aware that when we have to multiply two matrices we have to satisfy one very important rule that the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix only then the multiplication is possible so let's start with a very simple matrix say it's a 2 by 2 matrix and i have another matrix this is 2 by 2 so the number of rows should be 2 but columns can be 3 so let me write this as this now when we have to multiply we can simply take a into b that's it it's a very simple multiplication of a into b now there is a command for this as well it is called as m times a comma b so the same answer is obtained now let's check if we can multiply it reverse b is equal to b into a now that's not possible because b matrix is 2 by 3 and a is 2 into 2 so the number of columns of b is not equal to the number of row of a hence d that is multiplication of b into a is not possible this we know mathematically and in matlab also it is not going to be possible so you need to be careful of it next let's talk about division so suppose if i have to divide two matrices there are two techniques here 
the first technique is called as ml divide that is matrix left operation is what you are performing in that case your number of rows must be equal so if you look here a and b have the same number of rows so suppose if i have to divide and find e a by b this is possible but suppose if i have to do the matrix right divide now this sign is going to indicate it is left divide and suppose if i calculate in this fashion this is called as right divide this is not going to be possible because for doing matrix right divide the number of columns should be equal so let's write another matrix whose column is equal to the number of columns of b so suppose i'll change the matrix to you can see here number of rows are not same number of columns are same suppose if i try f is equal to b divide c you will get the answer let's also check if c by b is possible it is possible the reason is the number of columns of b and c are same so suppose if you want to use this slash which is called as the right divide then you will have to see to it that the number of columns of the two matrices are equal if you want to use the left divide then you will have to see that the number of rows of the two matrices are equal now suppose if i want to use the command i can say g is equal to this is the first left divide which i tried now let's try with the right divide matrix right divide here you need to be careful that you are writing b comma c so that you get this answer if you want to find this answer c by b you just have to write i is equal to right divide c by b just make sure sorry okay c comma b so you will get the same answer that you got here so make sure that when you are using left divide the number of rows are equal when you are using right divide the number of columns are equal the last operation that we are dealing with is the power option suppose if i want to square a particular matrix or i want to find the cube of each element of a matrix so i'll use the power command for this remember that the matrix has to be a square matrix otherwise you cannot use this option so suppose i take a 2 by 2 matrix if i want to use the command b is equal to a raised to 2 so that is how you are going to use the power command now suppose if i use the command itself it will be m power a comma 2 you get the same answer if you wish to change the value of power you can change it to some other value say a raised to 4 you will get the answer for it it is multiplication of the matrix it is actually multiplying two matrices and here you are mu multiplying the same matrix four times so rather than solving it separately you can just use the power, m power command it is actually the power command which is written as m power so with this i end the session i hope you have understood all the operations that can be conducted for a matrix if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you